Rice, the most important crop for over half of our planet, provides one-fifth of all calories consumed by its seven billion humans and up to two-thirds of the entire diet of many people in the developing world. So important is rice that even small dips in a harvest can have catastrophic consequences, malnourishment, poverty, and social unrest. And one of the leading causes of crop loss is flooding. Here, where most of the world's rice is grown, 25% of rice farmland is prone to floods. And when rice is submerged for longer than three days, it simply dies. But doctors Pamela Ronald, Dave McKill, and their team have made crucial breakthroughs. First, they identified a genetic region of an unusual strain of rice that was far more tolerant to floods. Then, over a 10-year period, they sorted through 45,000 genes to identify the single gene, dubbed sub-1, that allowed the rice to survive being submerged in water for 17 days. They then developed a process to transfer the sub-1 gene to a number of local varieties of rice, increasing yields three to five-fold while maintaining the same taste and feel of these local varieties. Last year, roughly one million farmers grew the new sub-1 rice. Many more are expected to grow it in the next five. All told, rice from these farms will increase food security for 70 million of the world's poorest people. And as global warming puts more and more rice farms at risk for flooding, and the world's population increases by 3 billion in less than 40 years, these technological innovations promise even greater rewards over the coming decades.